I am still very excited for Rise of the Beast, and even though I got this Air Razor RC and Freezer not as early as I got Cheetor, I still want to review these. I got these from Amazon. They're available on Amazon. You know, they're they're out. They're coming out. I have not gotten Bumblebee or Battle Trap yet. When I get those, I'll review them together. Hopefully, I'll get those soon, but I'm very excited for these three, too. All three of them are really cool. It's funny, Amazon sent each one separately. I got RC and then Freezer and then Air Razor. They're all really cool, though. I really do like them. Uh, Air Razor especially actually caught me by surprise. I think she's really cool. Uh, real quick, though, before we end up transforming them all, I do want to bring in good old Cheetor. Cheetor is still my favorite out of all of them, I can say. Uh, Cheetor is definitely still my favorite. He's a super cool. Look at how big he is. Look at how cool he is. I love that Cheetor, man. I love it. I love it. It's great. And I think he looks really cool with Air Razor. I can't wait to see the whole Maximal team from this movie all put together. I think they're going to look really cool. I might show him again later, but let's let's get into it. So we have a core class, a deluxe class, and a core class. All of these in Studio Series, and they're all really cool. Uh, so let's do them in the order that I got them in. So here's RC. She's a little core class figure because she's a little motorcycle, and they wanted to keep it more in scale. And it's kind of interesting that, you know, she's a core class now, given how for the previous movie she appeared in, she was a full-fledged deluxe class. So I don't know if this is a case of her just getting downscaled for the new movie, uh, but you can see her design is totally different. She's replaced the pink with red, and I honestly think the new design's pretty cool. Now, granted, I'm not the kind of guy that's like, oh, I don't like my robots being pink. Red is so much better. I, They're both cool. I like them. <laughs> I actually really like the color of pink, so whenever I get an RC, I'm pretty happy about it. But I think this one's pretty cool. For being a little core-class motorcycle, it does have a lot of the motorcycle transformer tropes you would expect, and it's missing a couple details I would have really liked, but at this scale, I don't really see how they would have been possible. I wouldn't mind seeing RC done at a deluxe class from this movie, though. I wouldn't mind it, because uh, I think her design's really, really cool. And while this figure does kind of replicate a decent amount of it, uh, especially how she looks in the trailers, there's the main thing for me that I really wish was here would be her visor. Uh, but she does not have a visor with this figure. It's just, if it'll focus, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Is she too small? There we go. She does not have a visor. It's just her eyes. You know, she doesn't have anything over that. Oh, it just started raining a lot. Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> you might hear that. Uh, but yeah, on, on top of that, she's kind of missing some gray in her head. Like, this little rectangle should probably be gray. You know, it's a little core class figure, so I can't expect perfection with it. But still, I just really like the design in the movie, and I wouldn't mind if this figure was a little more faithful to it. One of the main things uh, that kind of bugs me a little bit, but... It's a toy. I don't really know how else they could have done this. It's how they handled the wheels. So basically in the movie, it seems like when she's in normal bot mode, I don't really know where both the wheels go, but she at least has one. I think both of them might kind of rest on her back or something, because I know when she's like waving in the trailer, she has a wheel that kind of looks like that on her back. However, in some of the promotional art, when her legs are in like skate mode, those are both of her wheels, and she does not have a wheel on her back. So I guess if you want to be super accurate to how it looks here, you don't want a wheel on her back, so you can remove this. But then you're just left with an extra wheel, you know? So I typically just kind of leave it on the back, and I just have it flush. One thing about the back, too, I wish that would just fold in just a little bit. I wish I'd fold in, but it's not that big of a deal. I actually prefer in this mode... I really like this. Kind of invokes Sideswipe from Revenge of the Fallen a little bit. Kind of gives me some Transformers animated vibes in some weird way. Even though she's nothing like RC from that show. Yeah, it's really cool. She's got this little gun too, which is neat. You know, it's a neat little gun that kind of looks like it's transforming from her hand because it goes over her hand. Yeah, it's, it's a nice little weapon. And I like her detail. The articulation is nice if I don't pop her arm off. <laughs> she is very ball joint heavy because it's a little core class. What else would you expect? Ball joint at the head, ball hinge at the shoulder, ball joint at the shoulder, ball joint at the elbow, ball joint at the hip. She does have a swivel at the waist, which is cool. Uh, double joint at the knee, technically, but one joint moves forward. That's for the transformation. 
uh, and then you've got a hinge for the wheel here. And she doesn't really have a lot of real foot going on. That's pretty much her foot right there. But yeah, I think she looks cool with this. You can get her balanced in this position by using those little spikes right there, but it's a little difficult. And honestly, it's kind of not worth it because she'll easily fall over anyway. So you can still get her skating around, but I wouldn't, wouldn't really go for that too much. So her transformation, oh boy, probably should have practiced this because I've only done it once. Uh, I mean, it's just a little core glass. How hard can it be? Uh, I think her head hides inside the body, if I'm not mistaken. Or not. I don't remember. Oh, no. I don't remember. Oh, no. Her head hinges, right? It, like, clicks out. There we go. I do remember. I do remember. I'm a good guy. I remember things. But, yeah, you know, just kind of... It, it's a motorcycle. It is a little finicky back here because it doesn't tab in. You have to, like, slot it in. Then everything else has to tab in after you slot that in. So it's a little tricky back there, but once you get it, you get it. And then this is pretty self-explanatory. It's a motorcycle. You hinge it. You do it. And it's going to be a motorcycle. That's pretty much how all these go. I really do like the look of her motorcycle, by the way. I mean, you can, you can pretty much see what's going on here and how it's going to end. But pretty much got there. Just got to think those are in place. I think those right there, yeah, you use the gun to... It's very interesting when figures do this, when you use the accessory to, like, tab everything together. Oh, yeah, the gun actually serves as the kickstand. That's how this goes. The gun is the kickstand. So it is one of those, I point it out every single time, if you're missing the accessory, you're missing a part of the vehicle. Not really a fan of that kind of the design philosophy. There we go, if my tongue will work. But just kind of get everything tabbed together. Motorcycle transformers are notoriously never easy to transform. I can't really name a good motorcycle transformer off the top of my head that transforms uh, effortlessly. They all have little quirks, little things you got to line up. You see, I'm trying to line up the wheels, and they just don't want to line up. Oh, my gosh. Line up, please. It's like you get a couple in, but the other two don't want to go in. You can see there's little pegs right there. There we go. Wheels in. And then one irritating thing I just remembered. With this right here, this piece, that has to, like, slot into the arms... But it only really slots in <laughs> before you connect them. You see, now it disconnects it. And then there goes the kickstand. But see, that's in there properly now. But then this isn't aligned now. It's See, it's just one of those. You know, it's one of those. Oh, man. We're going to ignore the kickstand. That fell off into the abyss. I have that wheel on facing the wrong way. There we go. There's pretty much the, the motorcycle mode. It's very nice. It's a very nice motorcycle mode. A little dicey, you know, a little dicey to get it and get to. A little, you know, not wanting to line up, especially back here. Oh, man, sometimes when Transformers don't want to line up, my skin tingles. And this is starting to tingle my skin. So I'm just going to leave it. Uh, oh, man. Let me, where's, where'd the kickstand go? I need it. I, I realized, I'm like, oh, I, don't, I won't grab it. But no, I actually kind of need it. There we go. There we go. So there's RC. A very nice little motorcycle. Very nice. Wasted too much time on her. Let's talk about a more simpler toy. Freeza. Look at him. Ah, my name's Freeza. Ah, he's just a he's just a terror con monster boy. That's all he is. Uh, he's got two arms on each side, so that's four arms total. That's math right there. That's mathematics. That's perfect. Yeah, he's got. Very simplistic legs. It doesn't really have, like, a knee, but he has, like, a joint down there, and he's got a ball joint at the foot. Uh, you can kind of see how he's moving. He's very spindly. Uh, he's very ball joint heavy. Like, if RC is ball joint heavy, this is ball joint city right here. Uh, he's cool, though. I like his monstrous look. I feel like he's going to be kind of like an army builder for the movie. I can just see Scourge, you know, leading a whole army of these little freezer dudes. He's cool. I like him. I just decapitated him, but, you know, that's what I do when I, th I like things. 
So, yeah, he's cool looking. I don't know what else to say. He's he's a cool looking monster man with tons of little ball joints. I like him, but his main issue is the transformation. Because there isn't much of one. So, pretty much, the gun is going to do a little flip me do. And then, you know, it kind of hides the head. And then the legs just kind of exist back there on their own, I suppose. Then these are supposed to be like bipods. And then it's like, oh, there you go. There's your weird turret thing. It's pretty much what it is. And it's like, oh, really? You know, it's not really much of a, an alt mode for him. That's pretty much it. And since nothing really tabs in, it's just kind of going to be a wibbly mess. But the main thing this guy does is he's a target master. He's pretty much a target master for Scourge. It's basically what he is. So flip down the handle, and then we can start actually transforming things. Uh, so basically, these arms will tab into the legs up there. It'll like find. It'll tab in somewhere somehow. Somewhere somehow. I think right there. Right there, like that. There we go. And then it kind of adjusts afterward. And that kind of tabs in. And there we go. So you can see now it's actually starting to look like something. Because now these are where actual tabs and things function and make a thing. Uh, it's kind of cool. I think his gun mode's kind of cool. And sure, it is kind of a disappointment that his independent alternate mode is essentially just a heap of nothing. But once we get his front arms tabbed into his uh, back arms. I'm trying to remember where they go. Isn't it? Ooh, let's not pop the ball joint. It's one of those toys where you're going to see it at like thrift stores and all that, and it's going to be missing every limb. <laughs> it's going to have nothing left. But once we actually get things lined up, we can start actually seeing what's going on here. There we go. There's the weird looking gun mode. <laughs> You can see it is kind of just like a mess of limbs kept back there. But still, you know, Scourge can hold it. Can't wait for Scourge, by the way. Yeah, he can hold it, and uh, he's a gun. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Here, we'll have Air Razor hold him, just for, you know, reference. He's basically a core class Target Master boy. Will he be a Target Master in the movie? In my opinion, in the movie, these are just going to be little monster guys that run around. This transformation and this alt mode basically seems like an afterthought. I would be surprised if these guys transform in the movie. I think they're just going to exist in the movie. And there's going to be cannon fodder, basically. And I can see them being, like, uh, army builders. But, hey, we'll find out. We'll find out when, you know, when the movie actually comes out. <laughs> we'll, we'll see if my speculation holds any merit. Yeah, you can see it's real easy getting him back. I prefer him in the robot mode. I just like him being this weird little monster man that runs around. So, last and definitely not least, Air Razor. You may look at this thing and think, oh, that looks really familiar. Yeah, it does. Uh, unlike Cheetor, Air Razor's movie appearance is basically Beast Wars Air Razor, but now she is in movie form. It's basically Rise of the Beast Air Razor. She, I mean, look at it. <laughs> look at it. That, it's Air Razor. You know, it's very slavishly Air Razor. And in my opinion, I really like it, but, you know, the opinion I expressed on Cheetor, I loved how they reinvented his design. I love the differences. I love the redesign for Cheetor. I'm a little disappointed that Air Razor is just so distinctly and clearly Air Razor. I wish she had a little bit more going on, but still, I think this is a very cool toy, and I actually prefer the Studio Series one over this Kingdom one. I like the Kingdom one a lot, don't get me wrong. But something about this one, I don't know if it's the colors or the just the details. I just prefer it. I like the head sculpt a lot. I think it's really cool. It, it just looks nice. Uh, because it's a Studio Series figure, Studio Series does not shy away from ball joints. So she's got a ball joint at the shoulder there. Hinge. She's got a hinge at the wrist for articulation. She technically has a waist joint, but you have to untab the chest to be able to use it. So, keep that in mind. Universal joints at the hips. Swivel at the knee. 
Very nice knee band. That's mostly for transformation, though. Kind of have like a secondary leg joint, but again, for beast mode. Yeah, decent articulation. The wings you can spread for the robot mode. And I think that looks really cool. Yeah, she's cool. Her accessories are just the missiles on her forearms, which are exactly like Beast Wars. So that's, like I said, it's just Beast Wars Air Razor, but now she's in the movie. That's basically what it is. I really hope these characters actually have character in the movie. I really do. I love the look of the wings, by the way. I wish the color extended all the way down to the bottom feathers, but oh well. Oh well. It's, it's a toy. What else? What can you really expect? I, I appreciate that there's some color, at least. I don't know, I feel like I'm not as nitpicky as a lot of other collectors are. Some people are like, oh man, the missing paint's awful, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, it's a toy, man. <laughs> missing paint and, you know, under-detailed things, it's just what toys do, man. If you want something that's perfect and super high-end, there's things called Masterpiece. There's things called Hot Toys. Pfft, I don't know what to tell you. As long as it's very, as long as it's faithful, and as long as it's done well. You know, I can I can forgive little missing details here and there. But if it's something that's just sheer laziness, like that, that's a budget right there. They didn't have the budget for that. But if it's something that's like laziness or incompetence, I'm gonna call that out. However, let's let's get her transformed. You know, the robot mode, you can pretty much see what's going on. It's very nice, very poseable. I love the detail, I love the look. Let's get her transformed. Let's see how she looks. So you do not need to untab these, but you do want to rotate those. Because they'll just look better for the bird mode. Her transformation is actually very nice and very easy. We'll untab that. Rotate the waist. We'll untab the wings and get those more spread out. Untab this butt flap. One of the main things you got to do is take this double hinge for her torso. It's on a double hinge and spread that all the way up. Again, pretty similar to what we've already seen. Panel will go up. Head will flip in. It'll close. You can see it's it's very similar to what we've already seen with air razors in the past. It's very similar. It's it's that air, air razor pterosaur transformation. The hands flip in and tuck in just like on the the kingdom one. I do like how the missiles really are close to the body though. I think that looks really good. And last and not least, I think pretty much what we're doing. We're kind of clicking in. The legs up there, they don't really click in, they just kind of rest in more. And then we'll take these, fold them down, fold this. And I don't really know if this was a step of the transformation, but I just feel like these feet facing this way work way better for robot mode, and then turning it this way is very clearly bird mode. So I prefer turning the feet, you don't have to, but that's what I do. And that's pretty much it, there we go. There's Air Razor in bird mode. Uh, let me just get the back properly tabbed in. Yeah, pretty simple. <laughs> pretty simple getting here, but we got there. And I got to say, this bird mode is pretty successful. Now, if you know what's going on, you can very clearly see, yeah, there's this robot mode shoulders tucked in. And that it's kind of just popping a bit of a squat. But still, I think it's a pretty successful bird mode. It does do that nice thing where you can, like, fold up the wings and kind of have this bird more perched. I think that looks pretty good. The head sculpt for the bird's super cool. Let's get it on the good side where there's no screw. I think the bird looks nice. I do wish it had an ability to like have fire coming out of the mouth, because apparently she breathes fire in the movie. Uh, yeah, that'd be cool. But still, you know, you get some articulation for it. You know, the bird can look around. And the wings. I think the wings are really impressive. Again, would have liked... The feathering to be detailed and painted all the way through. At least on these where it's sculpted. Because it's painted down here. It's painted at the tip. Would have liked it all the way through. But I can I can understand it. I can forgive it. You know, and it's a bird too. You know, maybe her bird is just a type where it's just painted on the tips and on the tail. Who knows? This would look cool though. If, if, if it was on that whole layer. So there we go. There's round two of Rise of the Beast toys. What do I think? Uh, I'm, I'm thinking pretty good thoughts. I think Studio Series is killing it with Rise of the Beast. Yes, again, just like uh, Cheetor, we are expecting like a weird mainline version of Air Razor at some point. I'm very curious how that's going to turn out. But yeah, Rise of the Beast is looking really cool. Uh, loving Air Razor, loving uh, RC. Uh, even though RC is kind of a 
a little quirky. Freezer is Freezer, you know. Freezer does Freezer things. I think I'll appreciate him more once I get Scourge. I think once I can give Freezer to Scourge as like a gun weapon, I think I'll like him a lot more. But the king of this line still to me is Cheetor. Cheetor is still definitely the king of Rise of the Beast toys. Four in, Cheetor is my favorite. Battle Trap's looking very interesting. I'm very interested to see how Battle Trap's going to turn out. Uh, and Bumblebee as well, Studio Series number 100. Uh, head sculpt looks bad, but we'll see if the rest of the toy is not bad. Alrighty, guys, there we go. Thank you so much for watching. Special shout out to channel members. Thank you all so much for the continued support. Alrighty, and there we go. Have a great one, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.